guys, welcome back to my channel. Naku, na miss mo ba yung unang part ng ESL Teaching 101? How to get started natin? Well, don't worry because we are on the second part. Kapit lang mga beshies kasi kung interesado ka talaga sa topic na to at you are an aspiring ESL teacher here in the Philippines, you stick around and continue watching dahil for sure marami ka talagang matututunan. So, kung ready ka na, tara, usap tayo. Hi everybody, welcome back to Get Tensify, the first and official YouTube channel of MyEnglishSensei.com. I am so happy to have you with me today because we're down to the second part of our ESL Teaching 101 training, How to Get Started. Tama ka because we already have the part 1 last week. So for those of you guys who missed watching that video, I will leave the link below. So check that out later. And for sure, if you are an aspiring ESL teacher, offline or online, this video is for you. So, kapit ka lang at tapusin mo tong video na to kasi marami ka talagang matututunan. So, get your pen and paper ready, take down notes, and let's begin. We have three agendas for this video. Number one, why hire an ESL teacher? Number two, what is the difference between an offline and online ESL teacher? And number three, what are the teaching applications that you should have before you get started? So stay put and tapusin mo tong video na to to understand it more clearly. And for sure, ipapaliwanag ko isa-isang lahat. Now let's start with number one. Why hire an ESL teacher? With the vast evolution of technology and having everything digitalized, hindi na siguro kaila sa inyo na may digital or online learning platforms na din at isa na dito ang ESL industry. Simple lang naman ang reason kung bakit mas pinipili ng ilan na mag-hire ng ESL teacher. Dahil sa sobrang busy ng mga tao ngayon, may ilang gustong mag-aral ng English language na hindi alam kung paano magsisimula. Dahil wala nga silang time. Or di naman kapo sa budget. I'll give you three reasons kung bakit and for sure it will be very very obvious. Number one will be convenience. Dahil compared to a regular training in an English school, studying through ESL can give them options to study at home or in a center. Doon papasok ang offline and online options nila. Plus, they can do it anywhere, basta may internet. Number two, flexibility. Sa mga busy na tao, time is very precious. Minsan may iba na maisingit lang sa schedule nila, laban na. Meron naman na gumagawa talaga ng paraan just to have classes. Kasi sa ESL world, everything is flexible, lalo na kung mag-work ka as freelance. Sa side ng student, they can choose their lesson schedule based on their availability and their time preference. Last but not the least is affordability. Alam natin na lahat, lahat na sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, kailangan na natin maging practical. Having classes online at the comfort of our homes can definitely be more cheaper than studying in class. I mean, Di hamak na mas malaki ang matitipid nila kaysa mag ng native speaker or pumasok sa school. Kaya booming ang industry na to sa Philippines kasi ang Pilipinas ang isa sa mga best English speaking countries sa Asia. Now, let's move on to our next topic. Our next topic would be offline and online ESL teaching. What is the difference between the two? But I want to discuss it separately. So, I'll, I'll start with the offline. So, technically speaking, offline means man-to-man -man tutorial. Oh, hindi yan yung iniisip nyo ha. Isihan nyo lang. Alright, this is literally meaning na physically magkasama kayong dalawa ni students. So, it's either uh, ikaw yung pupunta sa kanya o siya yung pupunta sa sa'yo as a teacher. Ngayon, you have two options. Either you go home service, ikaw yung papadala ni company sa kanila, or magstay ka sa office, si student ang pupunta sa'yo. And you have your own 
a uh, mini cubicle or mini kiosk for you to teach the student one on one. So there. So you don't need internet connection for this because as again, um magkasama naman kayo. So hindi niyo na kailangan mag-online dalawa. Alam mo na mag, mag Skype pa kayo, magharap naman kayo, 'di ba? So no technical requirements needed as well, but I suggest that if you do have some presentations or probably some uh visuals that you wanted to show the students during the class you can also take your laptop with you you can save it as pdf or a ppt and then you can just show them during the class um if necessary to connect online probably there are activities that you can do online as well while in class it's totally up to you but normally in this kind of setting the materials were provided by the company and it no, it usually takes one to two hours per class every session now let's move on to online english teaching ano nga ba yung online english teaching ito yung patok na patok ngayon ano yes totoo yan kasi kahit saan sa social media nakakakita ako ng hiring online english teacher and things like that Yes, it's like BPO industry as well. Magkaiba nga lang ng market. Kumbaga, yung BPO, consumer-based, pero yung ESL, student-based naman. Either adults or um, children, it doesn't matter. Basta gusto nila matuto, matuto mag-English, okay na yan. Alright, so when it comes to online, of course, it will require you an internet connection. Online nga eh, di ba? So, either you work in the office or you work at home, pareho lang yan. Ang kaibahan lang ng dalawa is that if you choose to work at home, then maybe you have to consider providing your own equipment. Kasi wala naman akong alam na ESL company na nag-provide ng computer, nag-provide ng, ng headset and things like that. There are some, pero mangilan-ngilan lang sila medyo paggalante lang ng company. Pero there are some companies na nag-shell out for your internet connection just to make sure that you have stable one. Meron pang isa eh, hindi ko na-discuss last time sa part 1 eh. Some requires a generator. So, merong mga portable generator ngayon, lalo na dun sa mga areas na laging nagba-brown out. It's essential as well. Kasi the more, the more you canceled your cla class, the more you get penalized for it. At hindi nyo gugustuhin yung mga penalties ng ESL company. I'm telling you that. Kung ano man yun, sila na bahala mag-discuss nun. It's none of my business anymore. But, thank you doon sa mga penalties na yun. Kasi I strive to become a freelance online English teacher dahil doon. Alright, it usually takes 25 minutes or 50 minutes per lesson. Lalo na kapag office-based kayo. Right? Kasi may options yan eh. Si student kasi either they will have a booking system, alright? meaning they can log in online and then if they see that your schedule is available, then they can book you in anytime while you're on shift and things like that. So, bakit 25 and 50 tapos sa offline 1 hour and 2 hours? Dahil... Option yun ni students, kung gano'n na pag mga bagets lang, 25 minutes lang yan. So, 30 minutes total, 25 the actual class time, and then 5 minutes for your note-taking or your feedback, kumbaga. Ganun din naman sa 1 hour class, 50 minutes lang yung actual class time, and then 10 minutes, either you take a short break or, get, you know, do your feedbacks afterward. And then, materials are provided by the company too. So, if magtatrabaho kayo with a company, sila din yung magbibigay ng uh, materials for you. All you have to do is to read it, study it, and teach it. Nothing else. Alright? You just have to make sure na tama yung tinuturo mo based on dun sa materials na uh, binigay sa'yo. Pero, again, kung pipiliin mo maging freelance, kutulad ko, sariling sikap, sariling research, and things like that. But sa, sa ngayon, kung mag-uumpisa ka pa lang, I suggest that you take the the tiny step one at a time. Alright? Huwag bigla-bigla. Kasi nakakabigla din lalo na kapag hindi ka gamay sa ginagawa mo. But it takes a lot of consistencies and practice. So kung talagang interestado kayo sa, sa field na to, then do your research ngayon pa lang. Ayan guys! 
Last topic na natin siya for today's video. So, stick around. Hang in there. Konting-konti na lang. At ito sa lahat ang pinaka-importante. Kasi dito ako nagsimula. As a freelance teacher. Alright? Ano nga ba yung mga applications na dapat meron ka sa mobile mo or sa laptop mo bago ka mag-start, you know, to, to, to find students, to do marketing, to communicate with your students, this is very, very important. So, kapit lang ha. Alright, let's start with the very first one. Common to sa lahat sa atin dahil Skype is commonly used for video calling and audio calling, especially with our loved ones abroad, no? Friends and relatives abroad. Hindi lahat may alam na yung Skype pwede rin mag, makagawa ng screen sharing, ano? With audio pa. Meaning, hindi lang makikita ni students yung screen mo, but also maririnig niya rin yung sound na galing sa computer mo. So, you can watch movies together. This is ideal for kids, especially if you have watch time, no? Like, uh, for example, watching a short animation together and asking them feedback kung naintindihan ba nila yung napanood nila and things like that. Very, very uh, recommended ko tong application na to. Not only that, you can also send files and photos ng medyo mabilis. Alright? And group chat too. You can have like your small groups with students from China, students from uh, Korea, students from some other countries that you, you will market soon. Now, you can, you can easily uh, send in, information at once. Like, uh, message blast. Ito, very very useful din to sa akin. At apart from that, in case of emergency, you can also top up Skype uh, with some credits para makatawag ka at makapag-text ka sa kanila. Depende yan sa, sa region ha, or sa, sa scope ng countries na kukunin mo. You can check out Skype packages. I'm not very familiar on that. Pero ako kasi, I usually top up like $10 or $5 every time if necessary. Pag alam ko lang needed. Lalo ngayon, maulan ako. Diyos ko day. Alright? Now, next naman, let's talk about Zoom. Alright? This is very common na ngayon din sa mga panahon na to. Kasi makikita mo lahat ng business presentations sumang gamit. Ano? Bakit? Kasi hindi lang siya uh, for audio and video and screen sharing. Alright? And file and photo, hindi lang siya. Lahat ng function ni Skype, actually, naka-zoom din. Pero, mas more on, ang gumagamit sa kanya is mga business professionals or working professionals. Okay? Now, isang magandang part kay uh, Zoom is that meron siyang interactive whiteboard na tinatawag. So, meron kang online whiteboard with Zoom. You just have to pull it up on your screen. You can doodle, you can draw, especially with kids, student. Alright? And then at the same time, si student din, kung medyo teki siya, pwede rin siya magsulat. So, you can doodle together. Alright? And you can upload some files as well, and then circle the words that you want the students to take note of. So, ganun. Very interactive to. And it's also ideal for group classes. So, kung papipiliin mo ako whether si Skype, o oh, si Zoom ang gagamitin ko for group classes. Maybe, let's say, uh, a group of 5 or 6 students at one, in one class. I'd rather use Zoom instead. So, helpful din siya for me. And I'm still using it until now. Ito na, Messenger. Okay, mga beshies, hindi lang, hindi lang para sa online selling itong Messenger natin. Pwede ka rin kumita rito while teaching. Alright, bakit? Kasi, ginagamit ko siya. Actually, this is not my major uh, means of communication with all of my students. Mainly, I use Skype most of the time. Pero, in case nag-down si Skype, kasi may topak din yun minsan eh. Minsan, nawawala ng audio. Minsan, uh, masyadong static yung, yung line. Or, minsan naman... Uh, ang weird nung video and hindi kayo magkaintindihan kasi may delay. So, you have to opt to uh, turn off your video and just proceed with the audio call para hindi naman masayang yung lesson. Sometimes, I use Messenger as well. It hindi alam ng lahat, meron din siyang screen sharing with audio function too. So, pwede kayong manood ng movies together, mag-lesson uh, mag, mag, mag together using this one. Yun nga lang, 
mawawala ka sa eksena. Not like si Skype, andun ka pa rin sa maliit na window, pero nakikita niya yung ano, yung yung tag dito yung screen ng computer mo pero kapag si messenger na na try ko na nawawala ka yung ano mo lang yung screen mo lang yung nakikita niya so very uh, helpful din siya sa akin so yes with photos alam naman natin lahat yan and not only that this is free right dito sa Philippines we can send uh, messages Uh, messages using the messenger for free kahit wala kang data ako with blog nagagawa ko yon so uh, i hope that this is very very uh, helpful for you uh, for you guys as well lalo na when it comes to group chat oh alam na alam niyo na yan hindi na natin kailangan i-elaborate yan ito naman punta tayo sa next one uh, whatsapp Okay, hindi ako medyo familiar dito but sometimes I use it for communication purposes lang. Kunyari, tatanong ko kung meron kaming class or ikakancel niya ba yung class, magka-holiday ba sila and things like that. Pero, most of my European students use WhatsApp too. I don't know, maybe this is their means of communication dun sa country nila, no? So, you can also use it for audio, video, uh, photos and files and group chat. As well. Um, sometimes, kapag hindi ko masend yung file sa Skype, kasi medyo malaki siya, sinesend ko siya sa WhatsApp. And it works fine. So, I hope you can do more uh, things with uh, WhatsApp kapag kayo na talaga yung gumamit. Kasi hindi ko siya masyadong ina-explore. Alright. This uh, line naman, line application naman, is actually for... Japanese students. Okay, so kung meron kayong mga uh, kamag-anak abroad na nasa Japan, ito yung isa sa mga main uh, means of communication nila, line. So, lahat ng tao sa Japan, I think may line sila. So, you can also use it for audio, video, photo, alright, photo and file sharing too, pero wala silang screen sharing. Walang ganon. Pero, you can do marketing on this uh, on this platform. Bakit? Kasi you have your timeline. So, you can post your ads in there uh, and let everybody know na nandoon uh, sa, sa contacts mo with line. Na meron kang tutorial or nagtuturo ka ng English and things like that. You can also do some group chat as well with your friends or with your colleagues or probably with your future students for inquiries and things like that. So again, LINE is mainly for Japanese people. Punta naman tayo sa WeChat. Ito, ito yung icon na WeChat. Oh, I wonder, bakit lahat sila green na, no? Oh, what's up? Uh, LINE and WeChat, they are all green and even Hangouts later will discuss it. Okay. So, WeChat is solely for Chinese students naman. Ito, ito maganda rin to. You ha it has audio, video, photo, and file sharing. Hindi ko pa siya nagagamit for file sharing. Pero for photo, yes. It also has moments. Alright? Moments is like yung my day natin sa, sa Facebook. Alright? And then, group chat, hindi ko pa siya masyadong nagagamit. Pero, it also has this kind of function. Alright. So, ang maganda lang kay uh, WeChat, meron siyang public wall. Alright. So, I'm not sure. Like, discover. Meron siyang discover area wherein you can post some ads alright, to people publicly so that a few, uh, prospective students can actually see you. Alright. Ang masaklap lang, yung mga usual na tao doon, hindi talaga nakakaintindi ng Uh, English. Because ginagamit nga nila to in their daily communication eh, sa, sa China. Ang best part lang doon, na kahit na yung ads mo is nasa English, meron siyang translator. So, built-in translator siya. Although, hindi mo siya magagamit kapag picture ano, format yung ads mo. So, you have to write it through a regular text para ma-translate ni system um, automatically. So, there. And, one more thing about WeChat is that you can actually use it for payment, as your payment method. Alright? Kasi, alam nyo na, sa mga Chinese, they, they use Alipay, uh, WeChat Pay for, for paying uh, some services and goods. No? So, 
uh, you can actually tie up with some uh, banks here in the Philippines para iset up yung bank account nyo for for WeChat payments. Um, I once tied, uh, I once get in touch with AUB. I use it for a while, but now I'm not really using it at all. Pero it works well. They just get a couple of uh, portion uh, from your remittance, and then you you get it from your regular savings. All right, and the last one would be Hangouts, Google Hangouts. Okay, ito naman yung tinatawag na uh, na means of uh, communication kapag yung mga estudyante mo eh walang access sa outside world. Normally, ito yung mga working professionals, yung mga nag-aaral ng English uh, while they are on shift. Okay. Ito yung normally ginagamit namin. Bakit? Kasi they don't have access to Facebook, Skype, and things like that. Lalo na if ang ginagamit nila, yung mga work laptops nila. So, restricted sila ng IT unless they are using a, a VPN or their own internet. Which is, hindi naman nangyayari. So, yun lang. Maganda lang din sa Hangouts kasi it has all the same functions as the other ones. Pero... Hindi ko pa siya nagagamit for screen sharing but uh, knowing Google I think you can you can do the same thing. <clears throat> Pero mostly ginagamit ko lang siya for audio, video, photo and group chat. File sharing too is okay with uh, Hangouts. There you have it. Uh, these are just some applications na gusto kong meron ka kasi napakalaki na naging tulong nito sa journey ko as a freelance online English teacher. So, pili ka lang uh, isa, dalawang application and gamitin mo lang kung ano yung gamay mo. And for sure, magiging madali yung journey mo kapag alam mo na yung tools na gagamitin mo. Pero, easy ka lang, Beshi, kasi abangan mo yung susunod na video natin dahil sa part 3 ng training na to, we will discuss three more agendas, common types of English lessons, what are the four key skills of English, and how to actually teach English online. Ngayon, with part 1 and part 2, ni-ready kita kung ano yung mga bagay na dapat mong paghandaan. Ito naman sa part 3, abangan mo talaga yan dahil tuturuan naman kita kung paano ka sasabak sa gera. So, watch out for that upcoming video. Pero bago lahat, Please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell below so that you can be updated kapag na-upload ko na yung susunod na video ko. And sana napasaya kita at natutunan mo ang mga dapat mong matutunan sa video ko ngayon. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye!